Many questions remain unanswered tonight following the death of a 21-year-old man from Essex. Police say Taiwan Boyd violently confronted Baltimore County officers and engaged them in a physical struggle. Boyd was hospitalized but died this afternoon. WJZ's Live Rick Ritter speaks exclusively with Boyd's family who are now questioning the circumstances surrounding his death. Rick. Vic, police say Taewon Boyd was violent with them, which led to a five-minute struggle. But Boyd's family claims excessive force was used by officers. And just days later, the 21-year-old is now dead. These photos show 21-year-old Taewon Boyd hospitalized, given to WJZ by his family after a violent struggle with Baltimore County Police. Early Sunday morning, police respond to Aiken Circle for the report of a disturbance. Officers arrive to find Boyd and his fiance screaming at each other. The woman tells officers Boyd was acting crazy and was under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Police say Boyd appeared confused and paranoid, but when officers tried speaking with him, he ran to multiple police cars and tried getting inside. The young man in the case is not behaving the way a person would norm normally behave. Officers try to take Boyd to the hospital for an emergency evaluation, but according to the police report, Boyd wouldn't comply with police, then refused to get on the ground or place his hands behind his back. The report says Boyd grabbed the back of one officer's neck and continued to push, kick, and flail. It's a violent struggle. I mean, he's ripping off their badges and he's uh, ripping off the cords to their radios. So we're talking about a physical struggle involving hands. Medics arrive and the report says Boyd tried to break free from his restraints while four officers held him down. After receiving some sort of treatment, the report says Boyd became so calm they asked a medic to check the suspect for a pulse, but could clearly see he was still breathing. Boyd's family and fiance, who was by his side that night, tell a different story. He on the ground, five other police officers like on top of him, and not only that, one police officer got his arm around his neck like this, punching him, punching him. And then throughout the whole thing, he like, I can't breathe, he can't breathe. Something that's now stuck in her mind forever. She said he couldn't breathe, and not only that, after the ambulance got there, he was still on the ground for 20 minutes. And when he lifted him up and put him on a stretcher, he was already unconscious, like dangling. Boyd died in the hospital on Wednesday. His death has now sparked several investigations. No one no one has determined yet what his cause of death is. The medical examiner has to determine that. Again, the cause of Boyd's death is still under investigation. Police say the officers involved, none of them were wearing body cameras. Vic? Rick, thank you. And police say the officers involved suffered non-life-threatening injuries during the struggle and have not been placed on administrative leave.